Hello, I'm Dr. Sam Wilson, uh, dermatologist here at UN Basin Healthcare, um, here for your tip of the week. Uh, I want to talk to you about skin cancer in particular as it relates to early detection and prevention. Um, about one in five people will develop skin cancer throughout their lifetime. Um, common skin cancers that we see probably on a daily basis, if not multiple times a day, is basal cell carcinoma as well as swing cell carcinoma, and occasionally when we see uh, melanoma. Uh, melanoma is considered the most aggressive form of skin cancer, and if it's checked or undiagnosed, um, it will continue to grow, it will spread, and it can lead to death. And that brings up the importance of early detection and prevention. Um, early detection uh, can happen in two ways. One is doing a self-skin exam. This can be done approximately every month or so. Um, when you do a self-skin exam, it's important to not just look at your arms and legs and face, but to look at your whole skin. Melanoma can affect any part of your body. Um, the common misconception is that melanoma just presents in sun exposed areas, but it can present under the arms and the scalp, on the bottoms of your feet, unfortunately where the sun doesn't shine. So it's important that these places are examined regularly. Um, um, ideally in front of a large mirror, um, a lot of people have trouble with vision or don't have anybody to help look at their back. So. If there's somebody comfortable at your home that wants to look at your back and places that you can't see very well, that would be really good as well. So melanoma, if, if caught early and diagnosed early, is, is curable. So another part of um, early detection is getting a full body skin exam. Um, and if you haven't had one, I would probably encourage you to get that done and get a good baseline. And, decide and kind of determine what growths or moles you have on your skin and how often you should follow up. So uh, when you're doing a self skin exam, um, a warning signs of skin cancer can include, can include a, a changing growth or mole, a sore that's not healing up appropriately. Most sores heal up in about three to four weeks. If they're going beyond that, that could be a sign of skin cancer, a painful spot that's not going away in that same timeline. Um, a tool that we commonly use in dermatology is the ABCDs of melanoma. They can readily be found online, but uh, a warning sign of melanoma could include an asymmetric mole, a mole with an irregular border, different colors or a combination of colors. Now, those colors can be red, blue, black, brown or even a loss of color can be a warning sign. Um, a mole that's a little bit bigger, about the size of a pencil eraser, bigger can be a warning sign. Um, or a mole that's evolving, maybe one month it's half the size of a pencil eraser, and then two months later it's about the size of a quarter. If you notice any changes like that, I would encourage you to get have it looked at by a dermatologist or uh, your medical, your, medical professional or family care doctor. Um, the other part is um, prevention um, in addition to early detection. So prevention is wearing sunscreen when you're outside. We recommend about a 30 SPF. You definitely can go much higher than that, but at least meet that minimum guideline and make sure it's broad spectrum, uh, water resistant, make sure you're reapplying that every once in a while. Um, and try not to encourage just sunblock, but take a more comprehensive approach to prevention um, and sun protection. So wearing a wide brim hat is a good idea, um, as well as the appropriate protective clothing, like long sleeve shirt or pants. Um, uh, also another important part is avoiding the hours of the day where the sun is the strongest, you know, about 11 to 2 in the afternoon, um, seeking shade when appropriate. Um, a biggest thing in, for prevention is, is definitely avoiding tanning beds. One, of, one time in a tanning bed will increase your risk for melanoma significantly. So anyways, that's your uh, tip for the week. Um, if you have any new or changing growths or more spot you're concerned about or you need a skin check, 
for a skin at baseline skin examination, feel free to give us a, a call. Um, we're located in Vernal as well as Roosevelt. So thank you.